Hey everyone. We got some very exciting news today. Our amazing friend and developer have created a game changer interface called Focus. It allows you to create stunning images in just one click. No more complicated endless nodes from comfy UI or low performance in automatic 1111. Within few minutes, I had generated these cinematic images, portrait of male and female, or even artistic painting, and more. In this video, I'll show you two simple ways to use it. But first let's talk about our friend Yozviel, a talented PhD student in computer science from China, is also the creator of the amazing ControlNet extensions, for which I'm sure many of us have been using it a lot lately. So he created Focus, which is an amazing open source and free interface. Yazviel wanted us to forget about all those complicated technical stuff and just focus on the prompts and images. He made it super easy by automating the swapping between the SDXL base model and refiner. Plus, he added a bunch of presets that give you that awesome mix of stable diffusion and mid-journey experience. So let's dive into the local installation on Windows. Just download the zip file. The link is in the description. Extract the file and you should have two folder and .bat file. Run the file and you will land automatically on the Focus Web UI. You will see a very simple page, click on the advanced button to display the settings. The resolution are limited for the moment, but higher than previous models like the version 1.5. Finally, let's create some images with simple prompt like Cyberpunk City or Astronaut in Mars. And why not about a Tesla? We have an incredible range of possibilities now. Let me know what you'd like to explore next and what you'd like to see. I'll make sure to cover every technique to help you make the most of focus and the evolution of this interface. Alright, let's go on to the Colab installation. Simply click on the play button. It should take around 3 minutes. Please wait. If you missed the Gradio link, no worries, just scroll a little bit up. Here is the link. Congratulations! You can now start to create amazing images. For the first images, you can set the batch to 1. As it can be a bit slow, don't worry it it seems stuck, monitor the terminal to check the progress. One image should take between 30 and 60 seconds. Now I have specifically added for you the option to download other models and LoRa. First you need to stop the first cell. Check the link from, from Civitai. Here I chose DreamShaper XL which is still in alpha but produce quite good images already. And click on the play button. There you go. I hope this guide was complete enough for you to get started. The future of stable diffusion is bright and the community is amazing. Please like, share and activate the notification bell for more videos.